Guys, Digi, what's up? Let's talk a little bit about a new miner that's on the market. This is the Avalon 841. All right, so we all know about the Antminer S9, obviously. I'll tell you a little bit about my thoughts, my experience with Bitmain um, in the video as we go, but let's talk about this new Avalon miner. Um, we're also gonna compare it to the Halong Mining Dragon Mint T1. So now, what's better? All right, make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe. Let's go ahead and divulge and get into the information. All right, so a brand new miner was released today. This was the Avalon 841. I believe it's doing 13 terahash a second at 1,290 watts at the wall. Now, is this efficient? Is this good comparable to any of the miners that are out there? Absolutely not. Um, I'm a fan and I'm a big supporter of any good hardware, guys. You know, my job, my duty is to spread the truth and to tell you guys what is the best unit for you or what is the best unit that I am seeing or that I put my hands on and that I'm currently reviewing. All right, so if we're taking into, consider into sorry, consideration um, the new Avalon miner that is launched today, you're doing 13 terahash at 1,290 watts at the wall. Um, this is about a 5% less efficiency compared to even the Ant Miner S9, let alone to the new Halong Mining Dragon Mint 16 terahash T1. Um, also, on top of that, with this miner, with the Avalon miner, you also need a controller board to run the unit. So, you need a controller board. Um, it's running less efficiently, and it's slower than any of the units out there. So, my take on this is it's not a good buy. Now, we are very aware of the mining difficulty rate and how it's grown exponentially, and it's gonna continue to grow exponentially. So the name of the game is having the best hardware. So who has the best hardware? So we're talking about the Avalon right now. We said it does about 1,290 watts at the wall, running about 13 terahash a second. And then you also have the Antminer S9 13.5 terahash a second that's doing, or they, they say that it does about 1,300 watts at the wall, but guess what, guys, it does 1,500 watts at the wall. Um, and also, you they have just upgraded the firmware of the 14 terahash a second. You know, they haven't changed anything chip-wise. It is still the same. They literally just changed the frequency settings. If you go into your kernel log, or if you even go into just to the minor settings, you can clearly see that the base frequency for the amp miner s9 13.5 terahash is about 623 uh, megahertz on the frequency and then if you're looking at the 14 terahash version you're looking at about 650 660 on the frequency um, so that will just give you a quick kind of little overview of what they're doing they're still the same chip chips 16 nanometer and the avalon is using the same thing the 16 nanometer chips um, you know, there is a lot of buzz about the ASIC 8 Nano as well. I told you um, about them sending me arrangements. I can't tell you anything further as of yet. We're still in talks. So until I put my hands on that unit, I can't say anything about it. Um, but again, like I said, with the Avalon, you're running old chips, not efficient enough to even compete with the Antminer S9, let alone the Halong Miner Dragon Mint 16 terahash a second T1. Uh, it's just not there, sorry. And you know, there's new miners springing up like wildfire right now. And you know, I said previously, the name of the game is having the best hardware first. This is just who makes the money. So if we were to put the Avalon Miner, the Ant Miner S9, and the Halong Miner Dragon Mint 16 Terra Hash T1 all together in a circle. And these are all confirmed miners as of right now. If we were to put these together, there's absolutely no question that the T1 from Halong blows them all out of the water. Now, on top of this, I'll give you a little quick side note on just another dead miner that I received from Bitmain. Um, I received a dead uh, DOA, which is a dead on arrival unit from Bitmain. This was a new ant miner as well as a PSU. So I sent it back. I spent hundreds of dollars in sending it back to them. Um, they told me the time frame was three days. 
right? Three days to get it returned, get it repaired, and I'll have it back in my hands. Guess what? One month later, guys. I waited one month. And in mining difficulty terms, that's years. So one month, and I received back a non-working unit. It was only two hash boards are working. Um, no warranty stickers were on the unit. Um, the PSU was also written on in bright red words. Um, they weren't packaged properly. There was no conducting styrofoam to make sure that they were jumping around the box, maybe a couple little strands. I almost feel like they did it intentionally. Um, well, I'll also put a couple little pictures, maybe I'll throw one up here and throw one up here so you guys can see what I'm talking about, um, that this legitimately happened. You can also see the conversations that I had with some associate named Maria from Bitmain, um, who did absolutely nothing to help me. I literally sent them five emails a day, guys. Five emails a day, got absolutely no response or anything from them. Um, well, I got a response, but uh, it was the same same response every single time until finally I would get one, you know, very broad uh, answer, so to say the least. Now, once again, we were talking about the Avalon Miner. Not a buy on my end. Do not buy, do not buy, do not buy. That's just how I see it. Guys, I'm a spreader of truth, free knowledge. I want to give you guys the best information. Um, I really hope this helps. I should be doing a review on the Dragon Mint T1 hopefully by midweek of next week for you guys, which should only be a couple days away. And I'm hoping that this blows us all out of the water because this will be the most efficient hardware that you can get. And this will be what you'll need to make that cash. All right, guys, Minor Digi, I'm out. If you haven't subscribed, do it now. It's the best for you because I give you all the latest updates and tips and tricks. Digi, out.